Hello everybody, this is Larry Robertson. I wanted to go over the very first step that I went through in order to design the electronics of the BMW project for the Raspberry Pi interface. Alright, it all started when I downloaded an application called Express PCB from the internet, which is free. And it comes with two applications. One's called Express PCB and the other is Express SCH. So I'm going to run Express SCH. And this is the application that allows you to draw a schematic. And this is where I started in drawing the electronics. So let me open up one of these. This is the motor control board that I designed. And these are all the components involved in it. Um, over here to the left, you can see opening and closing of a window or sunroof, whatever it may be. There's three of these boards used in the car. And also an open limit indicator and a close limit indicator. All right, it has various connections. Um, one goes to the power of uh, coming from the car's on-off switch, from the ignition switch. Another one goes to the motor that is controlling, and these are bi-directional motors. And then you have your two down here for the open and close limit switches. This does not have any moving parts. It uses um, MOSFET technology, and MOSFET stands for metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. It uses four of them here, 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 and here in order to control the forward and reverse directions of the motor. All right, so once the schematic has been completed, the next step is breadboarding. I breadboarded this and tested it to make sure that the schematic worked. It needed a few tweaks here and there, but after the breadboarding was satisfactory, then I move on to the second application in this free package. Let me close that, which is Express Printed Circuit Board. An Express Printed Circuit Board, you actually get to design the printed circuit board. Let me bring up the motor control for that one. And it's a double-sided board. We're looking at both sides simultaneously here. And all of the corresponding components that you just saw in the schematic do exist here on this board. Um, we can view like just the bottom view, the bottom layer. This is the bottom side of the printed circuit board. Or we can view the top side. And from this step, once you get this done, and th the printed circuit board is in fact true to the schematic, then you can print these items and create positive films from them that are actual size, and those will be used in the uh, printed circuit board fabrication steps in later videos that I show you how they're exposed to, to light and how they're etched with ferric chloride acid. Anyway, that's the basics of how it all got started and hope you watch the next videos to come. Thank you.